Well, we did it everyone. This channel now has 65,536 subscribers. And I know what you're thinking. Why that number? Well, despite the fact that traditional subscriber specials at 50k, 100k, or 1 million are totally overdone, and are really only significant to us humans because we have 10 fingers, it's also the amount of numbers that a 16-bit unsigned integer can hold, 2 to the power of 16. In other words, my subscriber count has now reached levels that a few computers in my collection can't even count to without specialized coding. Don't get too excited about this special breaking the norm for traditional numbers to celebrate though, since how I've planned to celebrate is still pretty cliche. You guys might have noticed that I put up a message on my community page that I was accepting questions for a Q&A about a week ago. I picked a few, based a little on your ratings and a little bit on what I thought was interesting to talk about. So without further ado, let's get started with these questions. Alright, uh, Philip Hohen asks, Do you think pineapple belongs on pizza? Ah, uh, <laughs> it's a great way to lose half my subscribers. I have to admit, I have never eaten pineapple pizza before, so I don't really think I'm qualified to provide much insight on this. Justin C. asks, why the name The Science Self? It's actually a good question. It goes back to an old in-joke with my friends. It goes all the way back into when I was in middle school. And it's basically just a parody of the name Bill Nye the Science Guy, because, of course, I was, you know, a science geek. And also the fact that I was shorter than about 75% of my friends. So, the science elf. And when I started the channel, I wasn't quite sure what to call it, so I figured, you know what, science elf kind of sounds like a good YouTube name. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't really match my content anymore, but if you look at some of my older videos, a lot of them were science-based or math-based, so it kind of fit then. Uh, Josie What's His Doe asks, What channels do you recommend for content similar to yours? I mean, there's the obvious, there's LGR is probably the big one, there's the 8-bit guy is another good one to see. I also like Game Hut and Squirrel Monkey I mentioned in one of my previous videos. And they're also interesting in their own regard, so I definitely recommend you check those guys out. Sword Cat asks, why was the sound on your older videos so bad? Yeah, the sound on some of my older videos was a bit abysmal, and that was probably because... Even though I had my phone and I had a camera I probably could have recorded on, for whatever reason I wanted to record on a microphone, and my desktop computer didn't have a microphone, and I didn't really have a laptop to use at the time, so I just went into our basement and found this old box of computer parts from like the late 90s, and there was this crappy little microphone in it, but it was a microphone, so I plugged it into the audio jack and recorded myself on it, and... Part of it was I didn't really know how to use it, and the other part was the fact that this thing just really didn't have good sound quality, and I was amplifying up this tiny little signal in Audacity. I, yeah, it, it was just bad. Now, I, I've got an actual USB microphone now, and it definitely picks up my voice a bit better, and I've gotten better at audio editing. But yeah, even some of my newer videos, the audio wasn't quite good until I really learned how to you know, adjust the levels, right? You know, I'm still learning and all this stuff. I'm definitely no professional at it. Alright, Endercraft2319 asks, Is GIF pronounced GIF or GIF? Pronounced JIF or JIF? What he's referring to in at least a couple of my videos is I'm intentionally inconsistent with saying GIF and JIF, and I think one time I even said good GIF. And that's mostly because it's the internet, and I've realized that people will complain over anything you say, um, so if you say GIF, some people are going to get mad, and if you say GIF, some people are going to get mad. And so I thought, you know what, why not get both people mad? It's just a little bit more fun that way to see all those comments telling me how I say the word wrong. Retheist Freak asks, what do you like most about being a YouTuber? And, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'd really call myself much of a YouTuber. I mean, this is just sort of something I do as a hobby. It's not really a full-time job at any stretch. Um, but I just sort of love the idea that I would find all these random, cool little bits of technology or forgotten things like the QCAT, and it's really cool to me that now I actually can share it with an audience. I mean, something that I sort of just think is this niche little device, now I can get into the attention of thousands of people, and honestly, it's even cooler just to hear what other people say about it. I mean, I made the video about the playbook, and it was really neat to see that I wasn't the only person who used the playbook. Martin XD asks, do you think VR is going to be the next big thing? Um, I haven't really covered VR that much on my channel just because I don't really have the equipment to do anything about it really, 
But, um, yeah, I definitely think VR, first off, this time, I think VR is definitely going to stick around because we're finally at the point now where some even lower end technology like a smartphone can handle convincing VR displays. But I think VR, instead of just in entertainment, could be a really good tool for education and engineering. I mean, I was just messing around on a friend's HTC Vive this weekend, and I made a little electric field simulation where you moved the controllers around, and it and both the controllers represented two charges, and it illustrated the electric field between them. And I just thought it was really impressive, the fact I could make an interactive model, and even though we'd been studying them before... I really understood it a lot better whenever I was able to control it right in front of me and in 3D space that just makes it an even more convincing illusion. Fishy Fake, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, asks, what computer did you have as a child? Yeah, uh, my first computer was actually not any specific model. Um, no, it was around the early 2000s was the first computer I really used. Um, it was uh, built by our uncle just out of spare parts, so it had an unlicensed copy of Windows XP on it, and it was really underpowered, especially by today's standards. It only had 256 megabytes of RAM and a 20 gigabyte hard drive, so they're definitely. <laughs> so I guess you could definitely say our standards have improved. Um, but yeah, I mean, for a starter computer, it was great for me because I spent a lot of time just messing around in Microsoft PowerPoint. I would make little animations in it and bug clippy all day. Um, Zachary Bushman asks, what is your favorite YouTube channel slash TV show? I'm gonna have to admit here right up front, I don't really watch TV all that often. I'm on YouTube most of the time, but uh, I, I'll actually list a couple of my favorite YouTubers that I haven't mentioned already. Some of my favorites that I like to watch, I enjoy, you know, just general review channels like Quentin Reviews, Brutal Moose, Ralph the Movie Maker, but, I mean, there's some others I like. I like Chad Tronic, The Hacksmith. So, yeah, I'd have to say my uh, what I watch on YouTube's <laughs> pretty eclectic. I'm sure that sounds really scattered as I was saying it right there. But, you know, there's all sorts of different channels I like to watch, not just tech channels. Tyler Furrison Tech asks, Will you do more stuff on retro computers? Yes. Probably. I don't know. If people watch it, I definitely will. And if people don't watch it, well, I'll just have to find something else. I mean, this channel wasn't always a retro tech channel. It actually started out as a math channel. And you see how well that turned out. Atar asks, your oldest piece of tech? Um, yeah, it depends on what you mean by my oldest piece of tech. Uh, if we're going by oldest computer in my collection, that's my Apple IIe. I didn't actually go out and buy this Apple IIe myself, because I already had a GS, which is compatible with the Apple II line. But I got this one actually as a donation. Someone was cleaning out their house and they gave me this computer. Took it home, turned it on, and yeah, the capacitors and the power supply popped. So I replaced them, but after that it seems to be working just fine. I don't really get to use it all that often though, since my GS does most of the Apple II stuff that I ever need to cover. Darian asks, why do you never upload? Like I said earlier, I'm sort of doing this channel just in my spare time, and when school or other engagements come up, they usually have to take first priority over this channel, so there have been a few times, I think the longest time might have been a month, where I didn't upload, and trust me, that was not intentional. I try to maintain a schedule of uploading every two weeks, but, you know, things come up, and I can't always make it. Um, it's also more difficult because in the past I used to get away with three to five minute videos, but now my videos are almost pushing ten minutes and the quality's gone up with them, so it does take me a lot longer to produce content that I think's acceptable to show to 65,000 people. Primed Pixel asks, do you like cats? Yes, I do. In fact, I actually have a picture here of my cat posing with various items from my collection. I don't know why I took them, but I guess at the time they sort of were funny to me. Hokey Pokey JJ, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, sorry. Uh, what music do you listen to? And how did you start your channel? I'll probably talk about how I started my channel sometime in the future, because that's a long enough story in and of itself. But as for what music I listen to, most of my interests lie within the 60s to 80s music, um, mostly rock and a little bit of pop. I'm a huge Beatles fan, but I'm, I'm not exclusive to that time period. I do try to listen to more recent stuff, sometimes older stuff, and, you know, I also like classical music. Vivaldi's one of my favorites. You may have even noticed I've slipped his music in a few of my videos at some points. 
And finally, 14R Chico asks, what was your favorite video to make? Uh, that's a really tough question because I actually enjoyed making a lot of my videos. I will say probably one of the most engaging ones for me to make was the Bonzi Buddy video because when I made that video there wasn't that much direct information online about Bonzi Buddy. It took me just a week of clicking through links and looking through the internet archive just sort of piecing together the story of Bonzi software. I actually at one point got really close to contacting Joe Bonzi himself, uh, unfortunately I couldn't. Uh, but yeah, it took me a lot of time to actually find the information I was looking for on it and just assembling the video. It was really fun, you know, piecing together that story. I also liked the video where I installed different Windows OSs on my tablet just because it started out as just sort of this curiosity that I had. I thought, you know, I wonder if this thing can run Windows Vista or 7 or whatever. And so I put them on there and as I kept testing, I thought, you know what, this would actually make a pretty good video. So I recorded it, and it was just a lot of fun, because it was a big experiment, and I turned it into what is now my most successful video. Alright, hopefully you guys enjoyed the questions and the answers, but I actually have a little more to show you. Back when I was passing around 50k, one of my subscribers, LidsMC, offered to make me a play button to celebrate. I decided to wait until 65k just to do this whole binary thing, and finally reaching it, I now have this wooden play button to show off. It also came with this official looking letter, well, as official as Comic Sans can look, with Bonzi Buddy on top. The play button looks great, and I'm really impressed with how it turned out. So thanks again to LidsMC. Be sure to check out his channel at the end. From what he's told me, there will be a video of the construction of this play button coming up soon. Thanks to everyone who submitted a question, even if I wasn't able to respond to all of them. And just thanks in general to the 65,000 people who watch my content. On purpose. It's the oldest cliche in the book when it comes to subscriber specials, but I definitely never thought my channel would be able to reach this size. Knowing that that many people enjoy my content is probably the biggest reason I make the videos I make. Thanks once again for all of your support, and I'll look forward to doing something like this next time at 4,294,967,296 subscribers.